Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be going over five glitches in anime fighting pass. Let's get into the video. Starting off, we have team attacks. Now, as a lot of you know, you're not supposed to be able to do team attacks, but if you and your buddy manage to time up your abilities just at the right time, they merge together and become a kind of team attack. Now, you're supposed to be stuck in an invincibility frame, meaning you can't be hit whenever you're getting hit by a super attack. But, if you do it at the exact moment with someone else, you will get caught in two super attacks. You probably won't survive this to really explain the glitch, but you will see it and it will look pretty bad. And it'll, it could be kind of cool depending on the kind of characters you get together, but mostly it's going to just be pretty bad. The developers are talking about this in a recent tweet, saying that this is an unintended bug and that it will be fixed very soon, but for now, people should test out and see if maybe they should consider adding team attacks in the future. Obviously, let's have them do a lot less damage, but for now, you guys should just mess around and see what you can get. Alright, I'm gonna test that off for you guys. Alright, Magma Fizz, Magma Pillar, Magma Mirage. It's a pretty flashy fruit where you can summon all these crazy things and it drops back down and... Kaboom? Changing character. Now, honestly guys, this video should be about why they're bringing in teams into Anime Fighting Simulator, because honestly, a lot of the glitches here have to do with another person. So, in Anime Fighting Simulator, you're supposed to play as one anime character, right? But, if you manage to press a secret sequence, which is left, down, right, down, up, left, down, right, on your keypad, on your arrow keys, on your keyboard, or on your phone, if you bring up the little text menu and type that in, you'll actually swap characters. Now this is usually a command to swap characters in other games with your buddy or just another character in general. Like you can go from being Goku to being Luffy. All you have to do is type in that code. You're not supposed to be able to do that. There is nowhere in the game where it tells you how to do that. I figured this out myself because I was getting beat and I got really mad. So I started just hitting my desk and eventually I hit my keyboard and it started making a sound, so I just started pressing other random keys, and lo and behold, this is what let me do. It let me change my character, guys. That's crazy. Yo! <laughs> Killer Queen! Look at that! Look at that! Bro, this is awesome! Coming up next, we have Speed Glitch. Now, if you dash a lot frequently, you'll get stuck in that dashing animation, and dashing, as you know, is very much faster than walking or running or even sprinting. Dashing makes you go really fast a short distance, but if you mash it, if you just keep mashing left shift or whatever button it is bound to, you can just keep dashing infinitely without using any energy at all or any mana or key, and you just keep mashing it and you'll just get stuck in the animation, causing you to zoom left, right, up, down, across the map, everywhere, guys. It's absolutely insane the amount of ground you can cover in this game if you just accidentally glitch yourself. Now, this is very hard to do on command, Usually what I do is I dash into a wall until it just lets me just go. Eventually your character will be stuck arched over and you just start moving. You use WASD after the glitch goes into effect and you start dashing everywhere. It looks a little bit funny too, so you should record it and put it on YouTube. Unlimited health. So if you decide to block right as you lose all your health and you manage to block the very last hit, Sometimes you will get stuck at unlimited health. Now you'll be technically stuck at zero health, so if you happen to do anything that revolves in animation or anything that makes your character unfreeze, you will actually die, which is unfortunate. So you need to be very careful and make sure that you're not moving very much after you use this glitch. Now this glitch, you just block right as you were supposed to die, and you won't die. It's honestly incredible, and I've used it to win a couple of matches. I'm one of the highest ranked players in the entire game, and it's all because of this glitch. I'm sorry. But if they're going to put it in the game and not patch it, then I'm going to use it, guys. And you should, too. Remember, just block at zero health and you'll live forever. Now, this one is just funny all around, and it's definitely unintended, and it's because of a Lua error. If you mash back and forth between two characters you're trying to select, you'll actually glitch out the game, and you'll get a really big head. Your head will be so big, it won't even fit on your body anymore. Now, nothing will happen. It won't pop off. It won't, you know, do anything. You won't have a bigger hitbox. You'll just have a really big head, and that's just going to be really funny for everyone in the lobby to see. They can see it, too, and after a while, it'll go away. If you die, go down, or anything like that, it'll go away but you should really try and run away because people will try and bring it down because it'll block their vision. 
It's funny, so I don't see why they do that, but hey, if you can get this glitch to work, you should definitely make it last as long as possible because everyone will get a great laugh and it'll make for some great screenshots. If, if you could have gone onto the Titan or even transformed as big as this Titan and just like killed it or something, but no, dude, it's literally, like, we're minuscule. That's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future.